I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, let's get into this video. This video is about the cons of my weight loss journey. There's been a lot of things that I wish I would have done in the beginning and things that is kind of like hindering me now. If you're interested in this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Do not forget to press the bell notification so you guys will be notified every time I upload a video. And also, follow me on Instagram, guys. My Instagram will be right here. And yeah, let's get into this. The five cons of my weight loss. Ow. That hurt. That kind of winded me a little bit. I got a chest now. I can feel every second of it. It ain't. I'm, that was it, there you go it ain't vibrations no more I can actually feel my chest bone okay still kind of hurts mm, that's strong all right so the five cons of my weight loss journey number one my eating I started off my weight loss journey by eating meat which is not a problem because a lot of you guys are on your weight loss journey, you guys obviously eat meat, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying just for me. My weight loss journey, I wish I did not start off eating meat. I wish I started off eating um, whole foods and um, nutritional foods because I started off eating meats. And it has hindered me because it took me a while to get to the point where now, okay, now I can eat whole foods. Now I can enjoy whole foods i can enjoy raw veggies i can enjoy all these things and i know it's supposed to be like you know step by step of course you're gonna grow into it but i just i wish i could have started off that way because now it's like i'm finally seeing the depth in my workouts i'm starting to see the changes in my body that i wish i could have like kick-started back then and i could have been further along my weight loss journey now um than i am so i do wish i did not eat meat in the beginning at all to be very honest with you that's just how i feel about it i just wish i would have got my protein the way because i'm seeing so much definition and so much growth in my body now since i like have gone to the plant-based diet that i just wish i just wasn't that stupid then and just ate meat but again it's a it's a learning lesson you live and you learn right secondly i wish that i started lifting weights in the beginning oh my god i wish i started lifting weights at the beginning because the definite i could have been so much further in my weight loss journey had i started lifting weights because it's always a stigma with women i don't want to lift weights because i don't want to get big like a man <sighs> had i known the information that i know now then i would have been so fire right now i would have been like bomb i would have been my mom not just bomb i would have been my mom and i'm so mad because i really really should have listened to my trainer because my trainer told me start lifting weights start lifting weights i was like i don't want to get big like i'm big as it is like i'm a big girl but what you don't realize at that moment is that if you start lifting weights when you're in the beginning of your weight loss journey as well as doing cardio together you're pretty much pulling everything together and it's going to mesh all into one. Some people lose weight first and that's what just, they get a lot of, um, well, some people lose weight first, which is doing a lot of cardio and a lot of HIIT training, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, but you don't get as much definition in your muscles. You start to lean out, which could be your goal. Perfectly fine. But you also get those people who lift a lot of weights in the beginning and they get really stocky and big and then they don't tone down. Or slim down because you're not adding cardio to it. If you add both of those things together, you're toning your body, you're slimming down, you're losing weight, you're getting muscle definition, you're getting the best body possible if you start to join those two together, period. Now, as you start to go into your weight loss journey, you start figuring out like, okay, what you want more of? Do you want to lean out more? Or do you want more muscle mass? You'll figure it out as you go on through your weight loss journey, but in the beginning, I suggest everyone start putting those two together. I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever to join cardio as well as weight training together. Some of you guys get scared about getting big, especially the women. You only get that big if you're training to be that big. 
those people that get that big are in the, the gym for hours and hours and hours on end every single day they're taking supplements to make their muscles bigger if you're not even doing half of what they're doing you have no worries in getting huge and big it takes years to get that big it takes years of training and maintaining to get that big you don't just get that big overnight you're not going to get that big within two years it takes years i've seen people on instagram and say oh it took me 10 years to get this point oh it took me eight years to get to this point like dude i ain't got no eight years to appear and sacrifice me to sit up here doing this all day for eight to ten years it's not gonna happen like i'm not training for that so that's what i wish i would have done at the beginning numero i think i'm on three i think i'm on three all right let's just start with three i wish i started taking protein in the beginning of my journey people don't realize how much protein is extremely important in your life okay protein 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 now again some of you guys get your protein from meat not a problem but because i started to go into the plant-based diet i lost a lot of protein and that i was not supplementing it back into my body and i thought protein was like oh it's to make you get big it depends on what your goals are. Now, there's certain different types of protein out there that you can be taking in order to get big or to lean out. The protein I am taking is plant-based and it's for it is for lean body mass. It is to um, help you in your growth when it comes to gaining muscle. So it's not something that I feel like it's making me gain weight. It's not it's making me it's it's helping my body to show definition. In my muscles like I said I wish I would have started at the beginning so protein is very important to your diet you need protein in order for your body to function properly anyway okay protein is to help you to stay regular okay again depends on it all depends on what type of protein you're taking helps you stay regular okay it helps with gut health okay protein is really good for that and also just an overall muscle healer and adding to your your muscles in order, in order for you to be able to function throughout the day your body needs protein it needs it in order for you to move and squat and go to work and walk your body needs protein in order for it to be able to function properly it doesn't matter where you're getting it from you just need it in your body and i was not getting it at all because i stopped eating meat and did not supplement for protein and i also saw it in my hair it was terrible because my protein intake diminished so badly to where my hair took a hit so now my hair is so much better it's so much better it's so much healthier and i'm happy and i'm very happy and very 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 proud numero four this kind of ties in already with uh my uh, weight training but loose skin Loose skin is going to happen, and I would say that I wish I would have done research on that. And of course, it's common sense to some people, like, you're going to have loose skin, of course, you're bigger. But I didn't know how much I was going to have. Now, my loose skin is nothing compared to people that's been 600, 700 pounds. Nowhere near. But, however, I do have loose skin. Okay, I have loose skin from my weight loss, and a lot of it's in my midsection, and my boob area. Sorry, I'm grabbing myself. It's inappropriate. Sorry, YouTube. And I hate it so much because, again, it goes back into me not weight training. I started to do a lot of cardio. Now, I did. it obviously went down a lot. It went down a lot. But I just wish that I could have started toning it and working out my core as far as um, knowing that I was going to have loose skin and starting to lift weights with it. Number five. Do your research. Do your freaking research. Oh my God. Do your research. Do your research on what you need because everyone's body type is different. I really wish I did a whole lot of research in the beginning because now that I know what I know, it's like, oh, okay. Now I can go ahead and add it to my lifestyle, which is again, it's trial and error. I'm one of the same people that you are. You're learning and you're trying to figure it out for yourself. So I'm teaching you that these are very important things. Go online, do your research, go on YouTube. The same reason that you're watching this video here, go on another video and see 
what the other research you can find out about what type of workouts you can do what's the best for your body type your body shape your fitness goals and just all around health in general the meal plans and meal preps you want do research on all of it guys because it's extremely important to your weight loss journey if you know what you're doing especially if you don't have a trainer I suggest everyone start off with a trainer. That's my personal opinion. I suggest you do start off with a trainer because you're going to hurt yourself somewhere down the line if you don't start off with a trainer. And a trainer, like myself, is there to push you to your limits. We're there to get you to the point that you want to get to because you can give up on yourself. You have several times. I've given up on myself several times. So... It's not to say that you not having a trainer that you will give on your give up on yourself, but it is to say it's going to keep you accountable. It's going to keep you going. It's going to keep you motivated. It's going to keep you stimulated in your weight loss journey. So I do suggest everyone gets a trainer and do your research. Okay, guys, it's extremely important that you guys do this in order for you to reach your goals. And I'm happy. I'm now a trainer. I had a trainer. And I still co I still train with him sometimes. He still coaches me. And I have my clients now that I coach and that I train. So this is extremely exciting to know that his hard work and dedication into me is what gets me to be dedicated and give my hard work to my other clients. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys love this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Do not forget to press that bell notification, guys. Please follow me on Instagram. Please, 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 please follow me on Instagram and please subscribe to my channel. If you guys have other videos that you guys want me to do, please let me know in the comments below so I can go ahead and have those videos ready. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys again so much. I do love every last one of you guys and I hope to see you guys soon.